company. I'm Dan Schinder, the founder, CEO, executive producer, and cat litter box changer of Drum Talk TV. What is Drum Talk TV? So Drum Talk TV is the largest online community of drummers. And what we do is we do interviews with artists and educators and makers of drumming gear and audio gear that drummers would use. We also cover events like the NAMM show, the Singapore Drum Fest. We do documentaries. And most important, we curate videos from our fans from over 130 countries. We have over a million followers online and it's a lot of fun. We don't just focus on the big stars. We don't just focus on drum set playing. We interview a lot of people around the world that play different types of hand drumming, uh, play pod drumming from India, taiko drums from Japan, darbukas, dumbeks, pretty dungum, tablas, anything you can hit. Uh, uh, well, mallet instruments, orchestral instruments, marching drum, everything. And we're 900% larger in online reach and engagement than our industry peers. I'm proud of that because we're only six years old. And, and I understand you're a drummer. I am also a drummer. Um, I've been playing, this April will be 49 years. Yeah, I started when I was seven, and I'm finally figuring it out. Thanks to all our fans for sending great videos. <laughs> Was uh, uh, Drum TV, Drum Talk TV, your idea? Yeah, it, but I have to give my wife credit also because at the time I had an online lesson program called Dance Drum Clinic. And one day I got the idea to interview fellow educators, and my wife saw a bunch of camera gear stacked up by the door when I was going to San Diego to visit a couple of our kids. And she said, what's with all this stuff? I thought you weren't working. And I said, oh, I just got this idea to interview fellow educators. And her eyes got big. And she said, that's what you should be doing. And I said, what? She said, interviews. I said, no, it's all about the drum lesson. It's just a separate little thing on the website. She said, you really should be doing interviews. I did interviews in another life, doing other stuff. And uh, so I came back from the trip with a couple of interviews. follow Drum Talk TV? Because I'm so freaking cute. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Besides that. You know, the biggest reason is it's the best way to get exposed to as many different styles and techniques of drumming of all different genres of music from all over the world. And it'll help people kind of get out of their box, if you will. Because even if you listen to music you don't like, there's always going to be a valuable technique or little tidbit or golden nugget that you can incorporate into your drumming. If you're a heavy metal drummer and you listen to jazz or Duran Duran or P-52s, there's something in there that your favorite metal drummer uses as well. And I think it's important to cross-pollinate your mind with a broader horizon of a musical vocabulary. And again, it's a, it's a way for you to get featured and to learn about other artists that you might not be familiar with or might not even be that popular, but they're really, really good musicians. Can you give me an example of some of the people that you've had on, on Drum yeah. Talk TV? Well, so some of the people you would know today, earlier I interviewed Aaron Spears, Nico McBrain of Iron Maiden, has been on many times, Ian Pace of Deep Purple, Carmine of Peace, Vinny Apathy, his brother with a different last name, um, Denny Sywell, Paul McCartney of Wings, when you hear Live and Let Die, he's the drummer, co-writer of that song. Um, more contemporary artists would include Achilles Priestler, who's actually going to be here at 3 today. Um, gosh, there's just so many. If you go to jumptalktv.com, you'll see interviews all the way up to about 2017. Since then, we have not updated the interviews because we've done about 100 to 200 a year, but they're all on Facebook. So if you go to our Facebook page and look at the videos album, you'll see a mix of the interviews, event coverage, documentaries we've done with Billy Kava, you'll see fans' videos, uh, a lot of things from educators, uh, makers.
acres of great gear, and it's just a, a really good way to immerse yourself in a lot of different things in one happy place. I saw you earlier with a whole lot of women and girls here at the booth. Uh, is it uh, true that more and more women are taking up the drum now? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think that for a long time, there were a lot of female drummers, but they weren't getting the recognition or the platform. There's a magazine out there, Tom Tom Magazine, that's all female drumming centric. But having a bunch of daughters, um, I'm very sensitive to the fact that women sometimes have challenges in a lot of professions, in particularly drumming is one of them, where it was mainly a good old boys club, if you will, or dominated by males. So it's always been one of my missions from the beginning to give young ladies and women more of a platform and exposure. And the ladies that were here are part of a closed uh, Facebook group called Drummer Girls United. And um, I wanted them to all have a place where they can come, answer a couple questions, get some more exposure as a group. And if you know any female drummers, well, if you are one yourself, look up Drummer Girls, all one word, Drummer Girls and United on Facebook, and join the group. It's a great place where they can privately sort of talk. Um, but we feature a lot of them, and we encourage all musicians in the drumming world to send us your videos to feature through drumtalktv.com. Okay.